Last question by Oberon is on dragons. <laughs> They're delicious, especially <laughs> this time of year. Okay, um, in Christian culture, dragons are usually symbols of evil, but with a few surprising exceptions. I read that in the British Isles, the dragon also symbolized power and authority. And then you have the red dragon symbol of Wales. How did these come about, and what is their significance, especially in relation to Christian culture? Well, firstly, in the West, you know, there's a great deal of difference, although there's some similarities between the Western and the Asian dragons. Western dragons are always the symbol of evil. The Eastern dragons, the Chinese dragons, are the messengers of the gods. Okay. There's a big difference between the two. Um, it's true that in England they didn't come to represent power and authority. Why? Because the first kings were heroes, and the first heroes were dragon slayers. Ah. Imposing law on the chaos symbolized by the dragon. Um, so that's, that's really, in a nutshell, that's, that, that's the, the connection there. Uh, the dragon, of course, is cited in the uh, New Testament as a symbol of Satan. You know, Michael struggled with his angels against the dragon and his angels. Yeah, but I guess the big question, as they say it, dragon in the Old Testament, is that the same fire-breathing, you know, understanding as our modern image? You know, what is a dragon? Um, I mean, you know, I, the big question is, you know, uh, the dragons as we... I have seen Pete's, so it's hard for me. <laughs> uh, Pete's dragon, the movie? No, I saw the movie. Oh, oh. But I haven't actually seen Pete's dragon. Oh, I see, of course. Um, or but, Bob's. I mean, you know, the story of uh, St. George yeah. and the dragon. I mean, do, do dragons as we know it, you know, like, like smog, uh, I mean, did they ever exist? Or are these just really large reptiles and tall tales that are, t you know, out of proportion? Well, I'll tell you. In this area, as in so many others, I'm kind of agnostic. Ah. In that... Well, most people today, I think, would probably say, no, they never existed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not so sure. Mm. Uh, I'm not sure they did, but I'm not sure they didn't. Why, you ask? Well, well you didn't, but I'll, I'll answer the okay. question anyway. Yeah. The reason is that I'm not so sure they didn't exist is simply because we have so many accounts of them written in, like, city chronicles and things like this as having appeared over cities at different times. Am I seriously to believe that they were all misled or stupid or lying? I, it's hard for me to believe that. Mm -hmm. Now, supposedly, the last dragon in England was killed in St. Leonard's Forest in 1614. And I can tell you that in 1992, a couple of friends of mine and I were uh, in St. Leonard's Forest and we decided to go dragon hunting. <laughs> all we did was flush a deer out of a culvert, but we felt like we'd accomplished something. <laughs> it's it. well, something. Seriously, though, uh, the dragon. Uh, it is very difficult for me to believe that there's absolutely nothing to it. Okay, how about this? How about how about let's talk about one aspect of the dragon. Let's talk about the fire breathing aspect. Where did that come from? Well, there are a lot of theories. Uh, I've seen, uh, and there's a, an Eastern Orthodox priest who's a great one for, I forget his name, was a great one for arguing for the historicity of dragons. Um, it might have come from poisonous breath, like the Gila monster has, uh, or just a diseased bite like the Komodo dragon. Yeah. Um, I don't know, maybe it was real fire. I wasn't <laughs> there. Okay. I, I mean, again, you know, what's, what's funny is that when, when you say that you admit the possibility, people presume you mean it's absolutely true. No. I don't know. I find it hard to believe that there's nothing to it. But how do you explain the seeming lack of empirical evidence? But I have to emphasize seeming. Because, on the other hand, how do you explain all of the accounts of chroniclers and so forth? Well, they were all lying. Well, that's an explanation. Uh, whether or not it holds water is another issue. 